blood, sweat, and tears. I'm a creature of habit. Could marry these, honestly. <laughs> when I find my staple products, they don't really change. Welcome back to another vlogmas video. Thank you for tuning back in. I'm so excited because in the month of December, if you're new here, we are doing 12 videos, six of which are giveaways. This is not a giveaway video, but I have put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this favorites list that I'm so excited to share with you and talk about all of my favorite products from 2023. Listen, I want to be the person that's posting monthly favorite videos, but I am such a person of habit. I'm a creature of habit. I love my staple products. And when I find my staple products, they don't really change unless something blows me away. So I kind of feel like I've perfected my craft, if you will, when it comes to my favorites videos. If I did post a monthly favorites video, it would literally be the same January through December. So we're just going to jump right in. I have four different categories, Amazon, Sephora, shoes slash clothing, and a miscellaneous section just different brands, and I'll try to link everything in the description box below. Starting off with the Amazon section, I was gonna put this in the clothing section, but you can get it on Amazon. So these are the Naked Feeling, I think the brand is Crazy Yoga, like CRZ Yoga. I absolutely love these, is they are identical to Lululemon Align leggings. And I am a Lululemon Align freak. I've tried so many different leggings at Lululemon, but their aligns are just so buttery. It feels like a second skin. My only gripe about these is they are a little bit shorter than Lululemon aligns at the 28 inch. Um, I'm a short girly, I'm 5'6", so it doesn't really matter to me. Plus I wear like these socks <laughs> that go up pretty high anyway, so I don't really care. Um, but needless to say, Lululemon doesn't replace leggings anymore, align leggings when they start pilling because they're meant for just like casual wear, not heavy exercise. But I love them for heavy exercise, like lifting at the gym or going on a run in. And whether, like, if these pill, I'm only out $34 opposed to $110 and I can really appreciate that. They're so good. Again, I'll link them in the description box below because this brand has several different types of leggings, but it's the naked feeling ones that are identical. I've tried the other ones, the tight tummy, the, the no, 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 these, these, these. <laughs> Next up are Clean Skin Club's towels. I could marry these, honestly. <laughs> I will say it over and over again on every single platform. I talked about it on Instagram today. Surprise, surprise. I have acne prone skin. At the beginning of 2023, I was dealing with the worst breakouts. I have done so many things to change up, I don't know, the products I was using to fit more my skin type. I've been really, really weird about how often I'm washing my pillowcase. Sometimes I wash my pillowcase twice a week. Um, but one of the things I've done is changed to using the Clean Skin Club towels rather than my bath towel to dry my face because there is a lot of bacteria on there from my little girls washing their hands, um, half washing their hands and wiping stuff on it. These have been incredible. They are biodegradable. I buy the 50 count and this lasts me like a month and a half. Um, sometimes I will reuse a towel twice if I just literally dab water off of my face I just put it back on top and then I reuse it a lot more sanitary than your towel and I swear this alongside a few other things has cleared up my skin tremendously the transformation my skin has made since March unbelievable and again I credit this for a big chunk of that next up and I'm just gonna take it off my phone so I can show you is this Octo Buddy a lot of people ask me what's on the back of your phone it's an Octo Buddy and I will order another one soon because the suction wears out over time I think I've had this one since July June or something and I use this so much let me grab this mirror real quick and I'll show you to take videos in public Public, to take pictures to record especially you can stick this octo buddy on any suctionable surface I will say the only annoying thing about it is when I have to put my phone down on like a table or something I have to put it face down rather than I don't know like a normal person because it sticks to everything it's like ten dollars and it is the reason why I can film so much content literally anywhere I go it's so nice there is a hack you can stick two octo buddies adhesive side together so you can rip it off of your phone like one side suction to your phone obviously the other side suctions to whatever you're putting your 
your phone to and that way you can take the Octo Buddies off whenever you're not using them and they don't have to be stuck to your phone. I will say that was great and it worked until I lost them because if it's not on my phone all the time, I'm taking it off, my daughters are taking it off, I set it here, I set it there, I lose it. It is kind of nice that it just stays on there forever and I also think OctoBuddy themselves now make a double-sided one so you don't have to buy two separate ones. They actually made one that has two sides of suction. I'll also try to link that one in the description but this has been such a game changer for me specifically in the social media content creation world. Next on the Amazon list is my steam mop. Every time I post a cleaning video on TikTok, somebody says, what is that mop that you're using? I use this on my shower walls, a piece of cloth that goes over here. It like Velcros on and off, it's reusable. And this cleaning my shower walls has been such a game changer. I don't know why my husband's shower walls are always so dirty, but this has made it so I don't have to sit there and scrub it. I also, it comes with several different attachments, obviously one with like a mop attachment for your floor. I cleaned all of the grout in my home with this because there's a grout attachment. This has been so nice. This is the Black & Decker one and I believe I got it for under $100, if not like $109. This has been such a good addition to all of our cleaning supplies and it really does make cleaning go so much faster because I'm not sitting there scrubbing things for so long. Next up on the Amazon list is my Nespresso machine. If you've been thinking about hopping on the Nespresso train for a while but you have yet to pull the trigger, just do it. The amount of money I have saved on going out to get coffees is beyond me. I was a coffee coffee goer every single day. Starbucks every single day. No, 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 no. Not anymore. And the reason why I was is we had just like a normal espresso machine. We would buy beans, we'd grind them up, do it all ourselves. Maybe it was the type of machine, but that's a, too much work for me. I love to be, I, I'm a, I love convenience, right? B, it never tasted the same. Like, I swear, no matter what I did to this shot of espresso, it never tasted like it came from Starbucks. And I was like, no, I don't want to be making a coffee at home. There was so much joy in getting one that tasted so good from Starbucks. In the fall, I love their pumpkin spice cake one. I just, I'm just such a sucker for my morning coffee and I will never let go of it. But the Nespresso genuinely has saved me so much money because here's the thing. We bought our first one. We bought the Virtua, put a picture of it here and it broke and it was under warranty. And we called, they replaced it with the round head one, this one. And we have had zero problems with the, this one. It is so good. It's not as loud as the last one we had. The Virtuo Next is the first one that we had. Anyways, I love this round head one. It's pretty small. Honorable mention of this video is the little Nespresso pod holder that we put it on. I'll put a picture of it here, but we literally pull out our coffee pods, put it on. We put all of our extra coffee up above our microwave in that little cabinet, but it's just so convenient. I love convenience. I love things that taste good. And no longer do I have to worry about making coffee at home that doesn't taste good because how crappy is that? Next up on the Amazon list are these heatless curls. I have used the leggings before. I've used these before and I will say I do like this more. Um, essentially, it's just like a little wire in there with foam around it. You put it on top of your head, you wrap your hair around it and I don't even get my hair completely wet. I just kind of spritz it with a little water. Um, put a little oil in the ends and leave this on overnight and my hair is so bouncy in the morning It's gotten to the point where it's like a little too bouncy But I'm still perfecting how I like my curl like the different ways you can wrap it around this because the way you wrap it around This really does determine what your curl is gonna look like it just comes with these two little silk scrunchies the little silk thing here and Gosh, I just love this thing so much. It has saved me so much time. I like curling my hair. I like straightening my hair. But what I like even more than doing my hair is putting this in my hair and like not having to worry about my hair in the morning. Does that make sense? How many times can I say hair in one sentence? Hair, 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 hair. And last but not least on the Amazon list is my Amazon Kindle. I put this little ring on the back because that's how I hold it. I think a lot of people put pop sockets on theirs. But I bought this 2017. I really liked the white, so... Um, actually this was, Izzy got it for me for a birthday present last November. So technically I didn't purchase this myself, but I did ask for it. Just having a Kindle, a one that's really, really small and can fit in my purse or anywhere I go is, it's, it's been such a game changer. I was not a heavy reader before and not that I've read a hundred books this year. I went, I don't know, probably five, six years without picking up one damn book ever since having my Kindle. I fall asleep to this every single night. My favorite things about it, I don't think this specific one is waterproof, so I am looking to upgrade it soon so I can read in the bath, but it is so nice to have the backlit um, 
screen so that in the middle of the night if I wake up and I can't go back to sleep I'm not picking up my phone that has the blue light that's gonna wake me up and signal my brain hey it's time to get up just being able to pick this up and fall back asleep with this in my hand has been so convenient the battery life really does last so long and I don't know I don't know I just feel like everyone needs a Kindle I'm thinking about buying one for Izzy for Christmas because he likes to watch football highlights in bed and then he's up at like 4 a.m. saying I can't sleep and I'm like bro put your phone away that has such bright blue light I swear game changer game changer game changer if you are a reader whatsoever I still buy paperback books from time to time like the self-help ones or the parenting ones that I like to highlight but this is so nice for my fiction books right now I'm reading The Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros mm, love this book I'm just about done can't wait to start the second but yeah it's really changed the game for me when it comes to reading and I don't know that self-improvement aspect of me amazon section check let's move on to sephora there's a lot less in this section a lot of these you probably saw in my empties video um if you watched that but let's just get right into it starting with glamnetic nails oh my gosh okay so i bought my first set of glamnetic nails per somebody's suggestion in a tiktok comment and i was just talking to them about how let's actually rewind in February of this year, I decided I'm going to do gel nails at home like everybody else on TikTok was doing. And I think the lamp that I bought wasn't strong enough for the type of gel I was using. And I developed the allergy. And when I say the allergy, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to TikTok and type in gel nails allergy. Oh my gosh. When I say around my nail beds, blistering, cracking, bleeding, it was terrible they were all swollen so uncomfortable my hands were so swollen and so itchy it was keeping me up at night and then i was like you know what i'm gonna give myself a month or two break because they say once you get the allergy it never goes away well i gave myself the break and it came back the next time i did my nails so i completely wrote off gel nails i was so sad because i spent so much money on the diamond tips like the drill heads what are they called the e-file heads the diamond ones i i just started investing in really nice equipment but i could not figure out how to get rid of this gel allergy and from what i read it really like i just wasn't i wasn't willing to try out all these different gels to decide like or to figure out what i was and wasn't allergic to it was that bad i didn't even want to go near that so i picked up my very first set of glamnetic nails at sephora brought them home and i put them on and my jaw was on the floor reason why is because i have tried probably six or seven different brands of press-ons all of them were not nearly as sturdy as these these you can put them on you're hitting your nails you like having kids cleaning up constantly it is so important for me to have sturdy strong nails and that is exactly what glamnetics nails are they last me about two weeks i can get two and a half weeks out of them but i'm gonna be real honest with you a perk of having them is being able to take them off at like the week and a half two week mark for me because my two daughters have really curly textured hair. I love to braid their hair in protective hairstyles, but I cannot braid with nails on unless they're the really, really short nails. Anyway, I learned how to braid without nails and in order to braid their hair, I need to take off my nails. So that is why I don't have any on right now. I braided my youngest daughter's hair last night and braiding my oldest daughter's hair right after this video. And then tonight I will be putting on another pair of these, but again, they're just so nice. They're so sturdy. All of their designs are absolutely beautiful. So many neutral ones. And after buying my first pair, I mean, they sent me tons. My last giveaway was Glamnetic. So I just, I can't get enough of these bad boys. I did feel like there was a little bit of learning curve to learn how to put them on without air bubbles. But once I got that down, oh my gosh, a million times better. I will also say from doing my nails at home, I drilled off so much of my actual nail with my e-file. I got carried away. It was so bad. My nails were so brittle. I wasn't even able to like open the fridge door without crying because my nails were so weak. They are so strong, so sturdy now, and it's all because I switched to press on nails. So listen, if you're doing at home nails, you're using gel, good for you. I'm so happy for you. Um, in my opinion, there are some things that should be left up to the professionals and one of those things Gel nails next up is YSL's brown mascara. I ugh, Absolutely love this. There's so many girls on TikTok right now talking about brown mascara And I feel like I've already kind of known of the brown mascara trick and just how beautiful it looks on you It's a little softer. It gives a little bit 
more of just less it's a less harsh look my mom uses brown mascara and i feel like she always has she has blue eyes and i feel like the two just do so well do so much for her eyes she uses covergirl i tried this ysl this is the lash clash mascara mm, it is so 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 good and i will be diving into ysl beauty more because you know i was like mm, i don't know like is it overhyped with everybody talking about it no it's not overhyped there's a reason as to why this is incredible next up is shiseido's eyelash curler i never thought i would be making a video about an eyelash curler because in my head before this year it was just another tool no specifically the shiseido one is so good it whole it like grabs onto your eyelashes in a way that i've never seen an eyelash curler do before um i heat it up with a little bit of a lighter and it just crimps like think of you know curling your hair with heat it crimps your eyelashes and they stay like that all day long the best duo ever i totally forgot to put these in the amazon section but i'll just talk about them together elf's brow lift is the only brow product that i continuously come back to i probably rotate through three different ones but if i'm just looking for an everyday hold elf's brow lift this is near identical to the anastasia brow freeze but this is only six dollars and i have gone through so many tubs go to my empties video you'll see that this one's pretty much brand new i just cracked this baby open not too long ago but i just love it i love it so much um and along with lumify's eye drops my face is always on camera my job is literally to record my face and nothing looks better than the whites of your eyes being incredibly white this makes your eyes glow and Listen, I know people say, oh, it's so bad for your eyes. My eye doctor said this, my eye doctor said that. From what I can tell, it varies from doctor to doctor whether or not these are good for you. I, I kind of say everything in moderation. I do love these. I try not to use them every single day, but I'm gonna be honest, I kind of do. Next up from the Sephora category, and I'm gonna sit here and talk about it again in this video because I know I also talked about it in the last, First Aid Beauty. When I say I have adopted their entire skincare line because I am that obsessed with it. From their face cleanser, because I was using CeraVe, but this has quickly replaced it because I feel like CeraVe was breaking me out, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, their facial radiance pads, their ultra repair cream, as well as, this has been the OG, I tell everybody on TikTok, their tinted sunscreen is the best tinted sunscreen on the market. It is a product that should have gone viral that has not yet. It's so good. I'll say it a million times. I am acne prone and having products that don't break me out is so important. It also has the eczema logo on it, I'm pretty sure. Um, that's also really, really important to me because I have eczema around my mouth and all over my hands. So good. So, 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 so good. I, it has changed my skin texture, my skin type, my pores have shrunk tremendously using the facial radiance pads every other night. I'm so glowy when I wake up. I'm not breaking out as much because I'm protecting my skin from the sun. I'm worried about my barrier health and la di da di da And I, it's going to take me a lot to change. Okay. It's going to take a company that sweeps me off my feet to ever switch from these. I will say Tatcha sent me a few products to try out and it did break out my eczema there's only two products that I'm using consistently from Tatcha which is their oil um, cleanser as well as their essence as far as like moisturizer face wash exfoliator and sunscreen these four they're just the best duo you can get them on Amazon I'll link the Sephora link down below because I feel like they might still have their holiday kits on sale which you might be able to grab next up from Sephora Merit products I love Merit if there is one makeup company that I have fallen in love with this year it would be Merit and specifically their blush this is the shade cheeky I have used this one the absolute most it is almost gone this is the one I always get questions about in my get ready with me's I've also bought two other shades Beverly Hills and Appraise Appraise love these guys so freaking much and they do last so long I know that doesn't look like a lot of product but really it has lasted me so long the shade cheeky is just the perfect I'm blushing look it's so cute but I also do love their contour stick it is so good this is the shade clay my favorite thing about it it is not too dark somebody puts bronzer on and you can tell like wow okay that's a lot of bronzer not this one and their minimalist perfecting complexion stick I use this as like a foundation some days a concealer other days 
Um, I just learned that you can like twist it up because I purchased another one because I was like, oh no, I'm running out, I'm running out, I can't run out. Purchased a second and then that same day that I actually purchased it, I realized it could go up. So I have one now in back stock. That's how much I love it. I use the shade Linen in this. My favorite thing about Merit though is they're such clean products and if I'm sitting there kissing up on my kids and this is getting on their face, like I know that they're fine. Like that kind of weirds me out all these chemicals around my kids between the perfumes I use and the makeup I use and whatever. Merit just makes me feel good being a mom, knowing they're clean, they're not gonna break me out. They're so blendable. Like you can't use too much of these because once you sit there and start blending them, it just melts into your skin. So freaking good. Speaking of melt into your skin, this is my second bottle. I also had two little travel size that I went through this year. Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Oh my goodness, holy grail. I spray this on my face. So let's walk you through a little makeup routine as fast as I can. I start off by going in with a BB or a CC cream. I'm gonna call out this BB cream real quick because I have it in here for a reason. This is the Misha Perfect cover BB cream. It gives the same vibes as It Cosmetics CC cream. This one is just a lot more affordable. No, it doesn't break me out. It's so good. After that, I douse my face with some setting spray before going in with Merit products. And then I swear after putting the Merit products on and like blending them in with brushes, they just melt into my skin. If I need any powder, I go in with a little bit of powder. Then I do one more layer of setting spray. When I say, I don't know if you can tell, but my makeup literally sits on my skin, soaks in, and it just gives me the perfect flawless skin look. My skin looks like glass after, my products blend in so well, and I'm crediting it all to this setting spray. Last up on the Sephora list, I'm gonna talk about this really, really briefly, is Dr. Jart's face masks. These rubber ones specifically, but I also have a sheet mask one. I love the hyaluronic acid ones. If I'm, if I'm feeling a little bit more dry, maybe it's snowing outside and I can tell, or maybe I've traveled, my skin will get so dry. These are so good. They're also really fun. Looking like a little transformer and scaring my husband every time. Love it. I've yet to try this vitamin C one, but I have this on hand. I usually have a couple on hand for the days that I'm feeling like a little more self-care. Dr. Jart's face masks are my go-to. Let's move on to the next category, shoes and clothing. With shoes and clothing, I will be honest, I'm not heavily into fashion by any means. I'm just now 25 and I'm like, I should start finding clothes that feel like me, that make me feel comfortable and confident. I am a very young mom and I'm constantly caught in between dressing like a mom that's like modest with a shirt up to here and pants to here and sleeves to here, like super, super modest. And then realizing like you're 25, like don't need to be dressing like you're 45. So, I'm just gonna start out with the first brand. I'm just gonna umbrella this by saying Abercrombie's Basics can get it. <laughs> I love them so much. This sweater is from Abercrombie. This year I just picked up tons of jeans, tons of basic shirts, short sleeve, turtleneck, long sleeve, whatever. Their bodysuit, incredible, 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 incredible. I will say, I think like some of their clothing is overpriced, like their coats and jackets. If I'm gonna be spending that much, I'm gonna go to Aritzia. I just don't understand why some of them are so expensive. For what they give in their basics, they're so beautiful, they're so buttery, they're so soft, and I just feel like if there is one company that represents my style as a mom that's very jeans and a shirt, like elevated basics, it's Abercrombie. Next up, I've talked about these in YouTube and TikToks before, Skims's loungewear, specifically, I think this is their boyfriend collection. Listen, I used to wear Izzy's boxers to bed every single night from the day we met. Okay, not the day we met, that'd be kind of weird. The time we started living together, I started wearing his boxers to bed. Boxers and a large t-shirt, that was my go-to. I saw that Skims started making like these little boyfriend boxers for women and I was like, uh, whatever, like why buy those if I'm literally wearing my husband's right now? These hug me in all the right places. Obviously there's not the extra material at the front because there doesn't need to be. Um, they're so comfy. They make my body look so sexy. Honestly, like the way it just like cinches you in around the waist, they're high waisted, they're perfect. The top is so stretchy, so cute. I want more sets of these. I told Izzy, if you're looking for something to get me for Christmas, just get me a couple more sets of these because between this one and the gray one, I'm like alternating every single night um, and washing these quite often. Love, 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 love these. I will also say I bought their tank top dress as well as, well as their long sleeve dress. I also have some of their shapewear, their butt enhancing shorts, as well as a bodysuit. When I say that, 
truly Kim K is doing every woman on earth a favor by enhancing her natural body shape with a little bit of shapewear. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me you don't need the butt enhancing shorts, okay? They look so good under a skirt, a dress, anything. They're so beautiful and I'm so glad I picked them up because we've got a few things going on in this next month that I would love to wear them to. So Skims, Abercrombie, those are the two big clothing companies that I'm just gonna umbrella. I can't wait to dive more into the brands and continue trying more pieces from them. Next up is this Jerf Avenue robe. Oh my goodness. First of all, this is like a towel, towel material. It is so thick, it's so cozy. Would I wear this to lounge in? No, but is it the perfect after shower robe? Yes, and the print is so cute. Part of me wants to get every single print, but just like being realistic, like Sprinta, why do you need more than one robe? Not gonna do it, but it was worth the investment because it wasn't cheap, but it was so worth it. I want to get one of these for my sisters, all my friends. I want to convert everyone to the Jerf Av robe train. So freaking good. Next up in the clothing section, before we dive into miscellaneous shoes, and these two specifically, oh my goodness. We'll talk about these first. I did run a half marathon this year. I will be one, running one on May 4th as well. And these are gonna last me through not only my last race and the little bit of training I did in them, but also my next race. They're so comfortable. I was wearing Hoka shoes, which although I still really love them, they were too small on my feet. I went into the running room and he got me sized for these. These are the Brooks Glycerin 20, I believe. And they are so comfy. If you, feel like you hate running because your feet hurt and like you're just not made for it you just need a good pair of shoes i promise you and run slower than you think you will fall in love with running it's so addicting i haven't ran much this winter season but you know again i'm running a half marathon in may mark my words i will be pulling out these bad boys again these are so comfortable i've never owned a pair of shoes so comfortable these are the new balance 9060s in sea salt Oh my gosh, not only are they the perfect athleisure shoe, they're giving like a little bit of dad shoe vibes, but not really. They go with so much. A pair of jeans, a pair of leggings, wear them to the gym, wear them not, like dress them up. They're so freaking cute. Were they a little on the expensive side? Yes, that's why Izzy got them for my birthday. I probably wouldn't have bought them myself. <laughs> I'm just being honest. That's one thing Izzy and I did for each other's birthdays this year is we bought each other something that we wouldn't have bought ourselves because of price we kind of splurged on each other and um yeah this was one of the items he bought me they're so cute so comfy my favorite shoe at the moment moving on to miscellaneous if you have been here more than five seconds you will know that this stanley specifically the blue one in the 30 ounce flip straw has been my holy grail listen i know there's so many reusable cups on the market right now from stanley cup to simple modern to brewmate to all of the different ones, Stanley, not saying it's better or worse, but the fact that this one is a flip straw, it doesn't leak. I have kids, so my 40 ounce actually does leak. This one's so nice. Take it to me, take it to the gym with me, take it in the car with me. My daughters can, you know, drink out of it when they need to. It's so freaking good. The blue is such a beautiful color. I've had this now for an entire year, a little over a year and it still looks absolutely perfect. I gave away two of these in a giveaway on TikTok when I hit 300K, 200K, 300K, I don't remember, but it's so good. And honestly, if this is near me, if this is in the vicinity, I am absolutely drinking 100 ounces of water every day. <sighs> so good. Next up is my Aura Ring. I did not think I would be talking about this in a 2023 favorites video because I didn't think I would ever pull the trigger and actually buy it. But this has replaced birth control for me. First of all, I haven't been on hormonal birth control for a really long time. I feel so at peace using Natural Cycles. Natural Cycles is an app on your phone. It is the very first FDA cleared app for birth control. It is so freaking good. So pretty much the way it works is it tracks your basal body temperature, which is your temperature at rest as you're sleeping. So obviously not only does it track your sleep, but also your temperature. It will give you green or red days. Obviously red days, you should wear protection. On green days, you do not need to use protection. And yes, I literally mean it. You don't need any bit of protection, not even a pull out method, okay? this I trust with my entire heart. I have gotten some hate comments on TikTok that are like, LOL, let's just wait till she's pregnant. No, I promise 
Look up the studies surrounding this form of birth control. It is 98 point something percent effective, which is right up there with other forms of birth control. I absolutely love it. You can take ovulation tests, which are also known as LH tests to give you more green days. But let me just show you real quick if I can see if I can find. Obviously you can tell that some days are red, some days are green. The more you use it, the more green days you get because the algorithm kind of updates and gives you a better prediction. It has been so nice, but not only is it nice that you can kind of just wear it on any finger, um, but it's waterproof. It only takes 40 minutes of charging every like five days-ish. So I just put it on the charger when I'm in the shower and I literally don't have to worry about it. It's so freaking nice just to not worry about birth control to not worry about, you know, sleep tracking, charging my Apple Watch, because that's what I used to do. Let me show you a bit of the insights it gives me with sleep. So, right, I don't know if you can tell, but it says my sleep score is 84. I got eight hours and 20 minutes of sleep. It tracks all of your different, like, um, stages of sleep, which is really, really cool. It tracks your activity, your readiness score, your resting heart rate. A new feature is it tracks your daytime stress as well. So how long of the day are you in stress mode? How long of the day are you kind of restoring that? Um, and I think that uses your HRV, which look up the WHOOP study with HRV if you're interested in that. It's so cool to learn about all of this stuff. And again, it's just all mindless. And some days I'm not feeling good. And I'm like, oh man, like, I don't know, if, am I getting sick? Am I not? And I can pull up my whoop and my readiness score will be like in the red zone and be like, you need to chill. And it's always just like a little bit of confirmation, like, wow, okay, I can listen to my body. It's not just some fluke. Love my aura ring so much. Yes, it was a pretty penny, but yes, I'm very glad that I spent the money and I invested in it. Um, I need to get Izzy one because I think he would also absolutely love it. Next up is this bed frame. I wasn't going to talk about it, but I posted about it on TikTok and I've gotten so many questions about this bed frame. Where did you get it? Like, is it sturdy? When people find out I got it from Wayfair, they're like, is it sturdy? Yes, it's very sturdy. It's lasted really well. It's so beautiful. It fits with my room. I wanted my room not to be like completely white because obviously the walls are cream, but I wanted to add like a little bit of a cooler tone beige in here. It's beautiful, it's like a velvet material. I've linked it in LTK. It's just stunning and was the perfect addition to my room. I am the type of person that thinks long and hard about purchases. If it's not a hell yes, then oftentimes I just don't purchase it. This was a hell yes purchase. Like when I purchased it, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's the one. I was looking at so many bed frames for so long and the reviews plus just what I saw on all of the pictures, I'm like, that is it. So I bought it and we've loved it. And I just had to add that in here because it really has been one of my favorite purchases of 2023. Next up is Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. I absolutely love this stuff. If you saw my empties video, you'll see that my family and I use this stuff so much. This is what we use on the girls. This is what Izzy uses. Izzy used to use the Body Shop's body butter and he loved it. He swore it was the only thing that kept him moisturized, but then I introduced him to this stuff and he's like, wow, for literally, it's like six or seven dollars. It is a freaking steal. If you love the smell of coconut, this is going to be your best friend. They also have an unscented one if you don't love the smell of coconut. They also have a Brazil nut one, which resembles the Boom Boom Cream by Sol de Janeiro. This one is just so good. It's a staple, it smells yummy. Doesn't flare up my eczema, which is important. And last but absolutely not least is this teeth whitening kit. I whiten my teeth every single month now. I used to own a teeth whitening studio out of my home. I got trained, I was licensed, and it was the best thing ever to be able to professionally whiten my own teeth at home. I took clients and then we moved to Canada, so I stopped doing that. But I learned so much about whitening your teeth and this is the best at home kit that I have been able to find. It truly does whiten my teeth in 15 minutes and it just is that monthly maintenance that your teeth need after drinking so much coffee or eating red meat or soda or whatever you do. It comes with a cute little shade guide. The actual mouthpiece is rechargeable. It comes with three gels, which these will last you quite some time and then a desensitizing treatment as well if you have sensitive teeth. That's my favorite thing about this is I have pretty sensitive teeth. I have used Crest whitening strips before and oh my goodness, just not being able to drink anything after. The pain, the dull ache that comes with whitening my teeth. I hate 
So that is why I opened up my teeth whitening studio because it was also natural ingredients. I just, I just love this so much. I do monthly maintenance videos on TikTok every single month. So you probably have seen me use this. It's so good. It's I think about a hundred dollars. That is all of 2023 favorites. I am so glad I finally got through it. I think I'm gonna shoot for quarterly favorites rather than 2023 because although I didn't think I had a lot, that was a lot more than I thought. Um, and I think quarterly could work out quite well. Um, thanks for listening to me ramble about all of my favorites. Stay tuned for the rest of the Vlogmas videos because we do have a couple more giveaways. And yeah, that is it. I love you so much. Bye.